it's raining. Uh, I was hoping to get to my campsite before the rain hit. Although I don't know how long it's going to last. We'll have to check the forecast when we get there. But we are headed to a little campsite here. And it's just going to be a chill night. Uh, hopefully the rain eases up so we can cook over the fire. Uh, but yeah, I've got some really good food. At least I hope it's good. I've got some good food to cook tonight. And uh, some movies to watch on the tablet. And I am just going to chill. A nice relaxing, chill camping trip. So stay tuned, y'all. Well, the rain let up a lot. It's just sprinkling a little bit right now. But it's definitely headed our way. Just like that, the rain is starting again. Oh. It's closed before everything gets soaked wet. All right, y'all, well, made it into the truck. Just as the rain picked back up again. I think you guys can probably hear it up there. Uh, what did I do with my phone? It's in my pocket. Let's see what the forecast looks like here. I kind of need the grill to cook. I don't really want to do it in here tonight. Shoof. It looks like it might rain till like 10 o'clock and it's only 3.30 in the afternoon right now. I guess we're kind of stuck in here to start with, which isn't bad. You guys see my new sheets? Look at those. I got me some cacti and that. They're kind of like, uh, I don't know, they're really soft, really nice. And other than that, I also switched back to my uh, lighter sleeping bag because currently it's only uh, like 70 degrees right now. That was our high temperature for today, which is really nice. Um, and then I think the low is in the 50s tonight. Let me look at that really quick. Tonight we have a low of 52 degrees, so it's going to be beautiful tonight. Um, as long as I can open the windows up, because it's already getting stuffy in here. Go ahead and use this and just crack this back window open. That always helps. This window is completely open. And starting to slide a little bit. There we go. And, uh, here we are for the evening. For now, I think I'm gonna enjoy the sound of the rain on the roof. And I guess, just get myself straight into a movie and we'll crack open a drink also. Got some groceries here. Those are just snacks which we can just throw under the bed. And uh, yeah probably change into some shorts. Alright, we've got to put ourselves a drink and let's check out a movie. I don't know what I've they got a couple of downloads on here. Oh yeah. I downloaded Ernest Goes to Jail. I don't know if I've ever seen that one, uh, but I grew up watching the Ernest movies, Ernest P. Worrell. It was made in 1990, and it just says Ernest could serve on a jury duty and wind up serving time. So this should be pretty good. 
But for our drink tonight, I've got Cosmic Eye Brewing from Lincoln, Nebraska, and this is called Sir Limes a Lot. It's a sour mm -hmm. ale with lime, salt, and coriander, and it's aged on oak. Uh, and it's got kind of a cool label. You guys might be able to pick it up, but there's like uh, skulls in this kind of color on the label here. It's kind of neat. They're really light, but you might be able to see them. Uh, but what does it say? On the back here it says, True to its name, this beer brings the limes to the party. Pretend you're on the beach and this beer is in a secret container. Now throw on your swimsuit and meet us in the adult lounge area. Cheers, guys. Let's crack this open. The, light, the rain is really light right now, and I could really use a wash on that window. Oh, there it's coming back. Yeah. We're going to be stuck in here for a while. Ooh. That is sour. It's got so much lime in it. It's not bad, but uh, definitely lives up to the name Sir Limes a lot. And it may not be five o'clock here, but it's five o'clock somewhere. Cheers. But I won't always have this job. Someday. I'll be able to wield up the natural muscle of the day. Give you some light. Ooh, that's bright. All right, y'all. It's like. Uh, just after 7, 7.20, and I believe the rain stopped. The radar says it's going to rain till 10, but uh, it hasn't been doing much. So I think I'm going to head out there and start a fire because I'd really like to cook over the fire tonight. Um, and get things dried out and get some coals going. So, yeah, we've probably got like 40 minutes of light left, so it's definitely going to be dark by the time I actually get to eating, but we'll get some nice fire cooking done. Alright y'all, so I'm going to do some chicken tonight, 
And I'll tell you exactly what this is because I don't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, but I picked this up from Hy-Vee. And it is a Santa Fe chicken breast. Got a bunch of stuff here. Just car driving by. So it's, I've got it in a plastic bag, but it's chicken breast stuffed with black bean salsa, cream cheese, and pepper jack cheese. Uh, it's got chipotle seasoning, chipotle seasoning, and it's wrapped with bacon. And then to go along with that, I have some asparagus, also wrapped in bacon. And uh, the directions on how to cook these things said on the grill that you should put it on uh, tin foil to start with and give it some time and then transfer it onto the grill for the last few minutes for the chicken. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's probably good enough. And I will wait. Uh, probably until I feel like this chicken is at least halfway done before I throw that bacon and asparagus on there. Here we go. It's really... Uh, it's really not much to look at, I guess. But... I think it should be pretty tasty. oozing juice yeah it's oozing a little bit of juice it smells pretty good already but it's still got some time to go
All right, well, here we are. Uh, looks pretty tasty to me. You guys can see that. Got our bacon wrapped asparagus and our stuffed chicken. And we're gonna take a look at this and then we'll probably throw some barbecue sauce on there. Let's cut her in half. See what she looks like as the coyotes howl in the distance. Yeah, that's nice and done inside. And I probably lost most of my juices on the grill, but it looks great. That smells really good too. I guess we'll just have to try to take a bite without the barbecue sauce, but kind of throw some sauce on there. Oh yeah, that's really good. I don't want to ruin it with the sauce, but I love this stuff. I've had it before on a video. It's Rufus Teague's. Rufus Teague made some sauce. This is smoky apple. And uh, kind of falling in love with this stuff. I'm usually not a huge barbecue sauce guy, but this stuff is really good. Just a little bit of apple sauce on there. We'll just do one half for now. I should eat my vegetables. Yeah, it's a pretty tasty dinner. Huh. One of the more healthy things I've cooked in a while. But it's also nice to be back uh, in an area where I don't have to worry about bears at all. You cook and be messy. The sauce on the asparagus, that's really good too. It's my last bite of chicken already. Well, just a few pieces of asparagus left, but that was really good. I could definitely eat this again. And I picked those chicken things up from Hy-Vee. Uh, out of their like meat department. And they had a few different kinds that they hand make there. Pretty much never been disappointed with Hy-Vee's meat section. And like their pre-made grilling stuff. And it's so good. Well, a little bit of asparagus left, but I think I'm going to leave that. Probably just toss it on the coals and let her burn up, but that was great. I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up, and I'll see you guys back in the truck. Back in the rig. Uh, I am glad, gotta give that a second to cool down, I am glad that the rain stopped. I really didn't want to have to try to cook something that long 
cook that chicken that long inside of here. I don't think that would have turned out very well. I'm sure I could have cooked it faster, but I did what they said to do and it tasted amazing. my junk put away uh, I'm just gonna go ahead get myself another movie going um, what do I want to watch all right so I've got a it's a Netflix movie I'll have to look at it on here it was in their top 10 and I thought it looked all right it's called do revenge and do Revenge is a 2022 American teen comedy film directed by Jennifer Caitlin Robinson, who co-wrote the screenplay alongside Celeste Ballard. It stars Camilla Mendez, Maya Hawk, Austin Abrams, Rish Shaw, and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, the film was loosely inspired by Alfred Hitchcock's Strangers on a Train. Doesn't really tell me uh, much about it, but we're going to give it a give it a watch, I guess. Hang out, finish my beer, and just chill. Ooh, it's loud. So this says it's currently 60 degrees. You can see that. Um, I'm gonna pop these windows open. movie's over and uh, it was it was good it was definitely more like I would consider it a teen movie uh, and it reminded me a lot of Cruel Intentions Cruel Intentions was more of a hit when I was when I was younger and Sarah Michelle Gellar was in that too so yeah, it had a lot of vibes of Cruel Intentions, but overall it was a good movie and definitely had some good twists and turns towards the end of it, so I would recommend that one, but I'm going to get crashed out. Uh, it's uh, like 58-ish degrees in here. It doesn't feel bad at all. In fact, I might need to ditch the hoodie, but for now, I'm all right. I will... See you guys in the morning. After nine in the morning already. Oh, I slept too good. I gotta get up. Wow, I can't believe I slept that late. Yeah, I slept way late. It says it's 60 degrees in here. My phone says it's 55 outside. It was perfect sleeping weather, I can tell you that. Um, but I do have something new for coffee this morning, so we need to get that set up and going. Which it's in the back of the truck, so I'm going to have to go grab that, but 
Yeah, I've got something new to try with my coffee. sucks oh, that sucks a lot at least I didn't dump all of it that was probably half the dang container just fell out sweet crawl back in here to my safe space because I spilled my coffee grounds and I can't make it through the day now <laughs> Actually, a little, a little chilly. Uh, I think it's time that I need to throw my stocking cap back in the truck. But all right, so we've got some Jack Daniels coffee that was sent in, and I spilled. I just spilled like half the grounds on the ground, so that sucks. But the coffee is good. I have had it before, and uh, I believe the person that sent this in, they also sent a French press along. And I've actually received two French presses in the P.O. box. Uh, and they've been great and I've used them, but they're both made out of glass and I don't want to carry those around in the truck, uh, shaking around and stuff like that. There's nothing that I carry on a regular basis that's made out of glass. And when I was in uh, Colorado, man, the traffic out there is loud all of a sudden. But when I was in Colorado, for like the Overland Expo and stuff. Uh, my wife and I and Jeremy and Cherry made it into Estes Park one day and we kind of cruised around and I saw this at one of their local outdoor stores and I hadn't seen this before. And this is from GCI Outdoors and I use some GCI stuff. My little pot and pan set is GCI. But it's just like a, it's just like your average coffee cup mug thing. But, it is a French press. So this unscrews off the top, whatever, put your coffee in there, put your hot water in there, let it sit for however long, and you can push it all the way down. And you push it down, bada bing, bada boom, French press coffee, straight out of your mug, good to go. So we're gonna give this a whirl this morning. I did wash it out, but, oh, GSI Outdoors, GSI. Why I said that wrong. But, we'll get ourselves some water going quick, like this. Oop, spilling. We'll leave some room for the coffee. And that's how much water we need. Look how in the way is that for you? Not too bad. I usually go right when these things start turning orange. Because uh, it's usually hot enough, like perfect drink drinking temperature. So I don't know exactly how many ounces this is. But uh, I'm probably going to overdo this. But I'm going to say. 
two scoops in here should probably be enough. Probably more than enough. Yeah, I can't believe I, I grabbed this thing upside down and the lid just popped off a bit. Well, is it turning orange yet? You guys gotta let me know. I can't see it from over here. Oh yeah, there it goes. You see it turning orange down there? It could definitely, I only filled it up to about there, but when you do put this big plastic thing in there, it does displace some of that, so it'd be nice if it was empty. When it was empty, there was like fill, a fill line or something on there, just for a reference point, but we'll give that some time to dry out, and we'll give this a couple of minutes to cook up, and while that is brewing, I'm gonna go ahead and change back into my jeans quick. Here we go, jeans are on. All right, kind of cleaned up. It's been a couple of minutes here. So we're just gonna go ahead and we've got the lid open here to let the pressure out. And we're just gonna slowly push her down. And as you guys can see, I've got a nice cup of coffee and it smells really good. Um, obviously there's a little bit of cleanup once you empty this out, but boom, there we go. Right, guys we are on the road headed home and actually got like a I don't know Skype meeting thing I have to do today but we'll give this coffee a taste it's a little bit strong but really not bad now well, that's probably about perfect fresh French press coffee straight out of the mug. Yeah, this is officially probably my new favorite coffee cup. Now I just have to remember to always have it with me in the truck because I have a bad habit of taking it home, taking it inside to wash it or something, and then I forget it in the, in the house. But yeah, this thing is really nice. Like I said, I'll drop a link in the description uh, if you want to check this thing out because I think this is pretty sweet. But Ooh, Airstream. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, it's good to be back in Nebraska, uh, and the weather is nice. My truck says it's 57 degrees out today, so uh, hopefully we're done with all the heat. I am going to try to get the bikes out uh, a couple more times for some motorcycle camping, and uh, we'll see what I do with that stupid boat. But 
think maybe the next video will work on some truck stuff. I've got some stuff I want to do in the back. I've got some stuff I want to do in here. I do need to do another oil change, tire rotation, all that stuff. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Dinner was great. The, the chicken was really good. Not my typical thing that I cook. I think I've cooked a chicken breast like twice on this channel, but uh, it was really tasty. And of course, the bacon wrapped asparagus was good also. Glad that the rain let up so that we could cook, but uh, overall, it was a great trip. Nice and relaxing and chill. And uh, we'll get back into some, some other adventures shortly. I found a couple of cool spots. In fact, there was one right not far away from that campsite that I wanted to show you. But I don't have time to do that this morning. I have to be home. Uh, I'm only going to be home with like a half an hour to spare before I have to make this phone call thing. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.